who's the C squad backup to the backup to the backup announcer. So I go into this room and this big room where the guys are dressing and I see both Steiners, Rick and Scott have a referee. And for the life of me, I'm not sure who it was. I want to say it was Nick Patrick, but I could be wrong. But anyway, they had this referee and they had him duct taped up like a mummy. They had duct tape around his mouth. His hands were duct taped to his, his, the size of his hips and his legs. His feet were duct taped together and he was buck ass naked and had a pencil stuck up his ass. And I thought, wow, this is, this, this is going to be a hell of a gig. <laughs> Kevin Ash, you got your break in WCW in the late 80s. At the time, the top tag team in WCW was the Steiner Brothers. Now, we always hear about the British Bulldogs being big rivers in the business, but at the time in WCW, were the Steiner Brothers bullies to young talent? I've heard rumors about them and how they would brutally haze the young talent that would come in. True. Would you consider being taped to a, a table and having a pencil stuck up your ass? I, I call it a Thursday <laughs> night, but... Um... I call it... <laughs> I went, one time this, this thing goes down and <laughs> fucking Robbie sticks a pencil up this fucking guy's ass. Did you ever find anybody uh, duct taped to a bench or anything of that persuasion where the Steiners had uh, caught them up? I personally watched them do that to Disco. <laughs> they duct taped him like, you know, like, um, like, um, you know, what's it called when you, your, your legs are back and your feet are back and they're tied. Oh, like hog tied. Like hog tied, exactly. And they were trying to shove a Sharpie up his, you know what? And I, I was a, I was just new on the scene, and I just remember reaching down as cool and calm as I could. I ended up in the A locker room like by accident, and I got my bags and just eased out the door. I realized I was next, you know. <laughs>